Hey Spark Kids! How you doing? How are you, Sparky? What? What? Oh. Sparky thinks he's forgotten something. Was it to have a bath? Let's smell. I think that's just normal puppy smell, isn't it? Was it, um, have you forgotten your keys? Pups don't have keys. Fair enough, okay. Um, so what do you think you have forgotten? You've forgotten, so you don't know. Yeah, I, I suppose that makes sense. Well, maybe we can figure out what you've forgotten in a few minutes. Um, but first, we need to start our new series, Sparky, and it's called Crazy Praise. And it's all about praise and worship, and we're going to be looking at some of the Psalms in the Bible as well. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe while it's happening, you might just remember what it is you've forgotten. Should we give it a go? All right, let's go. Sure. So one thing that I really thank God for is that He helped me to move to London. So I was praying about it for a really long time. I've always wanted to move to London because it's so pretty, there's lots of things to do, great people, amazing food. And yeah, He really helped me move here. He got me a job here and I've been loving it ever since. The book of Psalms in the Bible is absolutely full of songs about God. There are 150 of them in there, and even though we don't know the original tunes, they're still sung by Christians all around the world to new tunes. The Psalms were written by lots of different people over a long time, but a lot of them were written by King David in the Bible. David loved to play music and to sing to God, and did it even when he was only a young boy. Some of the Psalms tell how amazing God is, some ask him for help in terrible situations or talk about when he helped before. Some are for special occasions and some are full of wisdom. In fact, there's all sorts of types of songs in there. So whatever type of situation you are in, there's a psalm to read that can help you. Let's have a look today at part of Psalm 9. It says, I'll give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I'll sing the praises of your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you, for you have upheld my right and my cause, sitting enthroned as the righteous judge. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken my enemies. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. to forget things. One day I went to school and it was lunchtime and I was sat in the lunch pool with my friends and I got out my lunchbox and I opened it up and <gasps> there was nothing inside. I had no lunch. My mummy and my daddy had both forgotten to pack me any lunch. Now, luckily, I didn't mind too much because I got a yummy school lunch instead. But we do often forget things. Have you ever forgotten to do your homework? Or forgotten your bag? Or forgotten something else important? And mummies and daddies and grown-ups are always forgetting their keys, their phone, their wallet, all sorts of things. One reason that we praise God is because we do often forget things, don't we? So we praise to remember who God is and what he has done. In one of the Psalms, in Psalm 9, verse 1 to 2, it says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. 
I'll be glad and rejoice in you and sing the praises of your name, O Most High. It says, I will tell of all your wonderful deeds because otherwise we're going to forget. God is so amazing and kind and wonderful and powerful and he's looking after us all the time, but it's really easy to forget that. But when we praise and worship God, we turn our attention to him. It's like we're looking at him. We're paying attention to him. We think about how big and how powerful he is. We think about how he's kind and amazing he's been to us and to people throughout history. It reminds us that he loves us and that he'll always be there for us. That he's on our side and nothing can stand against him because he's so strong. This means it's very helpful when you praise if you're paying attention. Now, I don't know if you're anything like me, but sometimes my attention wanders and I start thinking about things like jelly dinosaurs. Hmm. Where were we? Oh yeah. But I've got a few tips to help you pay attention in praise and worship. Number one, Think about the words. The words of the songs we sing are reminding you of how amazing God is. So if you actually think about them rather than just singing them, it will help you to focus. Number two, engage your body. Don't just stand there like this. La, 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 la. Use your body to worship God as well. You can wave your hands, lift your hands, clap your hands. Dance around, oh yeah, dance around. But engaging your body with worship helps you to focus and pay attention. And it means you're worshiping God with everything you've got, all your moves. And number three is make it personal. Don't just think about the words of the songs and what everyone else is doing. Think about what God has done for you. What do you love about God? And add that in to the praise that you are doing. There are so many songs about God. There are the Psalms and there are so many more songs that we've written, people have written since because he's so amazing and so incredible. And all these songs help us to praise him and lift him high and remember how incredible he is. Spark Kids, let's pray. Dear God, you are amazing and kind and loving and always hear for me. Help me to praise you. Amen. See you next week. Hello, I'm Flourish and I'm seven years old. Are you ready for a challenge, Flourish? Yes. Okay, Flourish, can you make a musical instrument out of that paper? Go. So I think I'm gonna do a flute. I think it was a bit too big, so I'm gonna do it a bit more smaller. Here's my food. Can you play it for us? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well done, Hi, I'm Amber, and I'm four. So Sparky, one of the reasons that we praise and worship is to remember how amazing God is. Isn't that cool? Um, have you remembered what you'd forgotten about earlier? Oh, great. Okay, what was it? 
Oh, Sparky had forgotten where he buried a bone and now he's found it. I, I guess that's great, isn't it? Are you gonna have it for lunch? Oh, but what have you got here? Oh, oh no, I'll, I'll have it, please. No, that's not a, I don't think that's a bone. Okay, yeah, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. This is our craft for this week. To help in your praise and worship, you're all going to be making a little rain stick. So you need a tube, toilet roll or cardboard roll, tube, fill it with some rice and beans and then decorate it beautifully to make a shaker. It's gonna be awesome. We'll see you next week. Bye.